Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about array buffers. In the previous video, I have talked about arrays. So you will see some similarities, some differences between array and array buffers. Let's explore the same. An array buffer in Scala is a collection that comes under the sequence class. So it's a similarity between array and array buffers that both are the collections in Scala, which comes under the sequence class. Like arrays, it's a mutable collection. So another similarity, both arrays and array buffers are mutable in nature. We can add and remove elements from an array buffer while adding and removing elements is not possible in a simple array. So this is a difference between arrays and array buffers. So array methods and operations are applicable or available for array buffers as well. So whatever the operations I have shown you in the previous video of arrays, all are applicable to array buffers as well. There's only one difference now you will find in creating an array buffer that you need to first import one package which is scala.collection.mutable.arraybuffer in order to use array buffers. But in the case of arrays, we don't have to import any package to make use of arrays. So let's talk about the uh, syntax. It's almost same as of uh, arrays, but in this case you can see this nose. Uh, there's no size we are defining here. So val space array buffer name equal to new array buffer data type and then there is a uh, there's no size we are defining in a in a round brackets, right? So how we can add the elements to the array buffers? We can add the elements to array buffer using this assignment operator. I'll be showing you all the dem demonstration of adding, creating, or deleting elements in a while in a Scala terminal. How we can delete the elements? Uh, either we can use minus equal to assignment operator, remove method, or clear method. Let's now see these uh, operations in a Scala terminal. I've already have opened up this Scala terminal for you. And I've already have uh, noted down all the important operations here. Let's first create an array buffer. First of all, we have to uh, import a package which I already have stated in the Scala. So let's uh, get this. It is import space Scala dot collection dot mutable dot array buffer. So now you can use array buffer now in the Scala. Let's uh, create the array buffer. So in this case, I'm creating array buffer by specifying the elements explicitly from our side one two three four five so you can see we are now creating the array buffer of type integer and now let's print the elements in the new line using the for each print ln method so let's see you can see one two three four five got printed on the screen so this is how we can create the array buffer so how we can now add the elements so here we have used the syntax in which we are we were not defining we are not using the traditional syntax like integer and this uh, round brackets. We were specifying the elements explicitly. Now, whatever the syntax I've shown you on the presentation, let's use the same now. So now I'm creating a new array buffer, which is a new array buff. Let's paste it here. It has now been created. Now, uh, in this case, let's now add all the elements with the plus equal to assignment operator. So I've already have specified in the presentation in order to add the elements, we have to use plus equal to in as a assignment operator. Let's use the same here. You can see I've added the elements 615, 78, 4, 32, 11. So these all got added to this array buffer, right? Now let's uh, print the same new array buff dot print uh, dot for each then print ln method. So it will be printed on the screen. So in this way, we have we can create the array buffer and we can add the elements. Now let's see how we can delete the elements. So for this, we are having multiple ways available. Either I can use minus equal to or I, we can use remove method or we can use clear method. Let's use this, do the same. I'm copy and pasting the things in one shot. <laughs> let's add the elements first to this array buffer. <coughs> it's, bit, it's been added. Now let's uh, delete the elements. Um, for deleting elements, we have to use minus equal to as a assignment operator. So this has got deleted. You can see earlier we were having 6, 15, 78, 4, 32, 11. Now I'm, I have removed 78, so it's no longer available in a array buffer. Now we can print the result as a in a new line as well. Let's print it. So you can see there's no 78 available, right? This is how we can remove the elements. And in the same way, we can also uh, make use of remove and we can pass the number here. Let's see, remove four. So in this case, we have just used the index location. So it is now being removed as 11, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. 
and in the same way if you want to get rid of all the elements right then you can use clear method right let's see so everything got now cleared up you can if you want to print in just see now let's print the same to check out whether all the elements has been removed yes nothing got printed right so in this way we can make use of deletion so in this uh, so for deletion we have used first use the uh, minus equal to in which the particular element will be deleted then we have remove method in which you can pass the index location and clear means it will uh, remove all the elements from a array array buffer right i hope you must have understood about the array buffer uh, for the rest of the content i'll be covering in the next video thanks for watching guys see you next video